Hey guys, sup, Scott Chuck here once again. Right, collection update time. Uh, it's been a while. It's always a while, okay? I go for little dips, I really do, guys, of like not being arsed to collect, then suddenly like uh, a little worm gets in my brain and it's just like, oh, you need that, you need that right away. And that definitely happened a little bit here. We have a decent amount to show today. So, let's get right into it, shall we? So, first of all, a couple of Dreamcast games. Uh, both of them number twos, incidentally. We got here a Virtua Striker 2. I know nothing about this game. I don't think it's even that good. I think it's one of AM2's, like, you know, worst reviewed games or something, but I was sort of, like, reminded of it, and I'm like, you know, I don't own that game yet. Maybe I should grab it. I don't even know. It's the first one on the Dreamcast. I don't know. I know this was, like, a massive, like, hit in the arcades in Japan. Like, pretty much anything with Virtua in the title uh, was pretty much a massive arcade hit in Japan, to be fair. But, uh... I don't really like football games, but Virtue is in the name, so I buy. Easy, easy pick. Now, uh, this one, however, this is a, this is a shit condition, by the way. Um, Tony Hawk's Pro Skier 2, also for the Dreamcast. Massive, like, cracks and scratches. I should probably replace that front cover. But uh, the reason I got this, actually, is that I've known for a while that this game is actually one of, like, the highest rated games for the Dreamcast. You know when you used to go on, like, game rankings, or I guess, like, uh, Metacritic today, uh, you can, like, rank all the scores by, like, the highest? This, I, I had a look just before I hit record, this is actually the second highest rated game for the Dreamcast on Metacritic right now, okay? Number one is Soul Calibur, which is kind of understandable, uh, 97. And yeah, I always used to see it, like, really high up there in terms of, like, reviews, and... Yeah, I kind of, my uh, love affair with the Tony Hawk series uh, started with Tony Hawk 4 and ended with a uh, Thug. So it was pretty much just two games that I truly love, uh, Tony Hawk. Everything else was just like, mm, that's alright, I suppose. But nothing before, nothing like before Tony Hawk's 4 have I even really sat down and played. So I didn't really feel any nostalgia for that HD remake that they came out with. Um, you know, of 1 and 2. But, uh... I got this now anyway, wasn't too much, but uh, yeah, one of the best Dreamcast games, so there we go. Right, now, guys, one thing I did get, I probably put this on Twitter or something, I don't think I've said it on this channel yet. I got an Xbox Series X, okay, I managed to get one off of eBay. There was a ton of, the day I looked, right, I just happened to look on eBay one day and I saw that all the Xbox Series Xs were being sold at like RRP. You know, they went like a couple hundred, hundred and fifty pounds over it, like the, the PS5s were. So I'm guessing like, the bubble sort of burst for the scalpers with the Series X. You still can't get one in the shops, but you know, I had no problem getting a decent deal on eBay. So, I kind of just impulse bought it and, not gonna lie, I fucking love it guys. Like, <laughs> the, like the stuff that you get through Game Pass, the backwards compatibility on there is amazing. Like, it's almost enough. Almost enough, not quite enough, almost enough to make me, like, uh, hopeful of the all-digital future that looms among us, because I obviously didn't get too into the uh, Xbox One, that uh, goes without saying, but I was very into, like, the 360. I bought quite a few games on the 360 back in the day, and the fact that they were all just there, I logged into my account, uh, I still have the really shitty Square Xbox 360 Sonic from Sonic Heroes artwork for my avatar, Right, that hasn't changed, and yeah, I just logged in and I was able to download all these games that I bought throughout the years, and some of them ran better for the Xbox Series X backwards compatibility. It was brilliant, you know? <laughs> I really do love the thing. It's kind of won me over. Um, still love my PS5, obviously, but yeah, it's like uh, when the PS5 came, it was more of like a relief thing. It was like, oh, fuck, fuck. The Ratchet and Clank machine is here, whereas there was, like, excitement for the Xbox. But, wait, who, who gives a fuck? I'm just sparking war in the comments by saying this. I have some Xbox, uh, games here, I Like, uh, it's confusing because they kind of just, like, all mark everything as Xbox new, don't they? Nothing's really specifically a Series X game or an Xbox One game anymore. But whatever, it's actually not that much because, um, I bought this here, Rare Replay. This was, like, something, you know... It's like something I probably would have bought anyway <laughs> without an Xbox. It's just such a smashing like little package into all these rare games in one. Some of them like that again. Some of them are like better versions than they were before. I think like Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie, like on the Xbox Live Arcade, which are included on this disc. I think they just got like up to uh, 4K recently. 
But uh, yeah, that was really cool. Uh, but I do primarily play when I'm playing on the Xbox. I'm kind of just mainly playing through like uh, games on Game Pass. I haven't really committed to many big purchases yet. Except I saw I was on Amazon, right? I was on Amazon. And you know how Amazon gives you like a wee bundle, you know, buy together. It's like three things in one and it's just a convenient button. You're like buy all at once, right? Well, Amazon presented me with this and I didn't plan on buying this, but it just kind of happened. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I have all I have all these games multiple times. Uh, let me think here. Uh, Lost Judgment, that one, I've already got that on the PS5. Uh, Judgment, PS4, PS5, and now Xbox, and uh, this one. Uh, PS4, PS5, PC, and now Xbox, so, yeah. How many times can you buy the same fucking game? And there's sky's the limit when it's when is involved, but yeah. So, I've got those, they're all still sealed, don't even know if I'll fucking play them, but... Nice to have, regardless. I mean, fuck, even this one's on Game Pass, right? I didn't need to buy this, it's on Game Pass, and I already own it hundreds of times, but I, I, I couldn't... Anyway, alright. Okay, so, last thing to go over is, uh, we'll actually talk about this a little bit. So, Sega, uh, released, well, no, they announced, I should say, sorry, uh, the Mega Drive Mini 2. Now, um, exciting stuff, in my opinion, you know, uh, a lot of people were upset it wasn't like the Dreamcast or the Saturn Mini, and I can get it, but, you know, this is a pretty good announcement as well. It's basically a, seg a Mega CD Mini, you know? Uh, with a there's going to be a bunch of games on there. Hopefully some other bangers for the Mega CD that we haven't heard of yet. Um, but, yeah, hopefully it's not... At the, when I'm recording this, it hasn't been announced for, like, a, a non-Japanese sale yet. But it probably will be, because I have something here that also wasn't, but we'll talk about that in a bit. But, uh, guys, you know how my brain works, right? It's like, a company releases this nice option to play retro games in a convenient way, okay? Something happens with my brain when that happens, right? Because I don't see a means of a, a means of playing a game that's otherwise pretty hard to get. I see, like, an incentive. You need to own all these games originally. I don't, I don't know what it is, right? I just, I just see that and I'm like, no, no, you need to get this, all right? So, one of the games that they announced for the Mega CD lineup was, um, Selfied right here, which is kind of a 2D shooter with polygon graphics by Game Arts, you know, the guys who did, like, uh, you know, Lunar and, uh, Grand- yeah, they were Grandia as well, weren't they? Actually, wait, was Game Arts Lunar? Can't quite remember. If they are, you know, because I think, did they not also do that Popfold Mail game? I really should research this shit. But, uh, yeah, hopefully we get one of those Lunar games on the Mega CD Mini, by the way. It's, it's the Mega Drive Mini 2, but I sometimes call it the Mega CD Mini. But yeah, I grabbed that. Now, another game that they announced for it was... Now, it's called something different in every fucking region, right? Was a FMV game by the name of the Mansion of Hidden Souls. Now, see, I'm not even sure if that's what it's fully called, because let me, let me attempt to explain this, right? So there was this team at Sega that really liked making sort of FMV point-and-click games just like Myst revolving around butterflies, okay? Because you had uh, Lunacy, also known as uh, Torico for the Sega Saturn, which is very similar, but it's not part of this series. But before that, there was one on the Mega CD, which is the one that's going to be included on the Mega Drive Mini 2. Now, that game got a sequel for the Saturn. This one. Now, they're different games, however, in America, and I think the UK as well, because it literally says here, the Mega CD game and the Sega Saturn game had the same title. They're different games, but they, they, they decided to call them the same, uh, at least in America. I think the UK version of the Mega CD game has, like, a You Mary or something, like, uh, just some sort of a... Japanese name before it goes into being called like uh, the Mis Mystery Mansion or whatever the fuck. But basically, yeah, I saw that and I'm like, I'm gonna play this because I, I did uh, play the Mega CD version through certain means, but because uh, uh, it wasn't on eBay at all, couldn't they find it? And I was just so I don't even know how rare it is or whatever. But the Sega Saturn one was there, and it thought I'll just grab that 
Not tried this one yet, but I did play the Mega CD one, beat it in like an hour. <laughs> it was clearly, that was a game that was clearly meant to be like, um, you know, the appeal of it was the technology side. You know, it's like an FMV game for your Mega Drive. Uh, but it, it was alright, it was just like over really quickly and there wasn't really much to it to be honest. Hopefully there's a bit more to this. Because I do like these sort of point and click games, you know, like, um, like D, uh, for example, you know, that was a really good game on the Saturn. And so was that Lunacy game as well, I enjoyed that. So, we'll see how we get on with this. And, um, the last thing I got here to show you is this was a purchase that I made because of the, again, because of the Mega CD the Mega Drive Mini 2 announcement because I kind of just I kind of forgot that I didn't have it yet basically because I always told myself I'll get it eventually and that's the um, the Astro M City Mini with uh, a bunch of arcade ports on it and uh, I had to buy the uh, official controller as well which I think is over there the new but I, I do have that and I have this now. It's basically the arcade cabinet. You can plug it into the telly or you can play it on this wee screen, which is quite nice looking. It is actually. And use the buttons real like that. But you probably don't want to do that. You probably want to hook it up to the telly. But yeah, this game, this unit, I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think they announced it in a big way that it was coming uh, outside of Japan. They kind of just quietly put it on like... Uh, I think they actually got like another company to distribute it for them. It wasn't distributed directly by Sega, uh, but obviously, you know, it's here now. It's in English and all that shit. So, aye, it was it was definitely like a weird way to distribute it around the world. But I probably wouldn't mind if they distributed the Mega Drive Mini 2 in the same way, you know, because uh, the Mega Drive Mini, like uh, Sega, did push that at the time it came out. You know, like it was all over their Twitter and all that. They were sending out like uh, demo units to. A bunch of YouTubers and all that bollocks. They didn't do that for this, and they probably won't do it for the Mega Drive Mini 2. At least I don't think so, but as long as we get it. As long as we get it. That's all I'm fussed about. Right. So, that was a bit of a, a bit of story time in this collection update. But I don't know when the next one will be. Whenever I get weird worms in the brain, it's like, get on eBay now, Donald, you need this. Uh, you never know. You never know. Right. Anyway. See you after guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.